everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I have a huge haul for you guys. I have been slacking on the haul videos lately and I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you today. So I am going to get started here with, um, let's see, some stuff I've just recently picked up and then I'll go backwards from here. I picked up this little safety pin snowman and I think you could actually set a light under him like one of those little battery operated tea lights. Um, one of the color changing ones would be really cool I think. But yeah, you could set a light underneath him. I paid $2.29 for him, and he is listed for $25. I think he is just adorable. And next I have these beautiful cobalt blue candlestick holders. I paid $8.19 for the set, and they are listed for for $30. Next I have an Otagiri cat figurine that I got from Goodwill. I paid $2.29 for it and it is marked Otagiri. Uh, this one is listed for $18. And then I have this teeny little clear glass Cloche. I paid $309 for this and it is listed for $19. Then I have this little cat planter. It's pretty dirty. It needs washed. Um, this would be cute with a little air plant in it. I paid $0.99 cents for this and it is listed for $8. I just wanted to show you these guys, these things so that you guys know what is new in my shop. And you can find all of this stuff at thisbusymama.com. I have this cobalt blue um, candle holder, pillar candle holder. I paid 99 cents for that and it is listed for $8. Next I have these little Napco wear uh, candlestick huggers. I'm just going to dump them out here. They're bone china and they are just adorable. These little mice. I got, there's four of them total in this little baggie that I paid $2.29 for. Now these little mice sell for like 30 bucks for the pair themselves. But um, I got those, and then these two are not a match, but they're still cute for Christmas. It's Santa and a snowman, and sorry about my fingernails, but it's been super crazy busy lately. Anyways, you're going to get all four of them for $35, and those are Bone China. Next, I have this vintage package of ornaments. It's an ornament kit. You make your own. These are the satiny saucers. I paid 99 cents for them. Let's see here. You make your own fancy ornament like this. And it has all of the little pins and sequins and everything that you need inside here. And this sells for, it actually, people have it listed for like 30. I only paid a dollar for it, so I have it listed for 20. Um, next I have this beautiful silver plated three arm candelabra that is made in England. And it is vintage. I paid $6.19 for it, and it is listed for $50. It is super heavy. We have this little Italian donkey. Uh, we paid $5.69 for him. 
I think, $5.69, unless he was half priced. Nope, he's $5.69, and I have him listed for $15. He is Italian pottery, and he is numbered on the bottom. Uh, what is it? Three seven eight. Then I have this little Italian pottery vase. It's an hourglass shape. Made in Italy. You pay 39 cents for this. And it is listed for 15. Now I have this little pumpkin candle. Um, they don't go for very much. I paid a dollar. No, I paid 50 cents for him. He was on sale. And I'm just going to keep him for my collection. Halloween is almost here, and by the time I get him listed and people find him, it will be over with. So I might as well just keep him for myself. I had a really, really hard time finding anything vintage Halloween this year. And when I did find something like this, I decided to keep it for myself. This is an Alien Pops container that I just popped the, the Alien Pops tag off of it and I have the alien head. Now what's really, really cool about this is you can put, I just have a little touch light that I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I stuck this down inside here, put the lid on him and he will glow. Let's see if I can turn off my light. I'll be right back. And show you. He glows so good. <laughs> He's mine. I have seen these listed anywhere from $20 to $120, but he is mine. I'm keeping him. So, I thought he was really cool. I paid $5 for him. Let's see. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is I picked this up at a garage sale for $20. I have a 1950s army uniform with patches buttons, pins, I have the pants, the shirt, the hats, um, I have um, the garrison caps, there's two of those here. Um, the ties. I have lots. I have I have this man's dog tags. I have lots of pins. I have patches that would go on the uniform. this up and show you some of this. I'll flip it over. And the, the, his last name was Hawkins. And there's this little leather name tag thing here too. And there are a lot of patches. U.S. Army. A lot of patches with his name. Um, I don't know a whole lot about all of these patches or the pins or the uniform really. I don't know a whole lot about it. I just know that um, it all just holds a special place in my heart. Like um, I don't know what happened to this man. I am assuming that he lived a long, healthy life and that maybe he didn't have 
anybody that wanted the uniform when he passed or something on the order of that. I'm, I'm really not sure, but that's what I hope for anyway, that he lived a long, happy life and I have his uniform now, but um, I'm not sure how to clean that jacket. It's definitely got some, um, it's dirty, very dirty. And I'm not sure how to clean it. And I don't even know if you can see that. Yes, you can. So, any ideas on how I can clean it? And maybe if you are a collector of vintage uniforms, you can um, leave me a comment down below and or email me at thisbusymama llc at gmail.com and maybe we can work something out on this uniform. I know that just the uniform itself can go for about $200, but I don't know anything about these pins and patches. So if you guys know anything about those kind of things, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so on to the next set of items. I have these Mr. and Mrs. Claus mugs. They are made in Taiwan. And um, I think Mrs. Claus has a little crack there on the handle. And she's got like a little scuff on her cheek, but that is a manufacturer's thing right there. Anyways, I paid $4 for these and they're listed for 30. Next is this Czechoslovakia Celebrate. It's a square vase. It is made in Czechoslovakia. I paid $4 for this and it's listed for 20. Next is this little Fenton Amber hobnail toothpick holder. I paid a dollar for that and it is listed for 17. Mm. Oh, this was a find. This is a Bitosi duck bowl. It is marked Italy and also numbered on the bottom. It's green on the inside and it's got this lovely detail here. His beak has one tiny little spot where the paint has chipped, but that is it. It is in excellent condition other than that tiny little spot. I paid $3 for him and he is listed for $75. Next, we have this beautiful Albanian. Um, it's called, um, oh, what is it called? Pyrograph Pyrography. Pyrography? <laughs> it's something like that, where you use fire to burn the wood. <laughs> okay. So this is a hanging plate. It's got the little thing on the back here for you to hang it. Also says Albania. It says, looks like F slash H O 57. So this is 1957 and this is wood and it is burnt and it is so pretty. Lots of detail and color in there. 
I paid $2.99 for that and it's listed for $40. Also have this umbrella shaped hat pin holder. I paid $2 for this and it's listed for $30. This is also, it's marked MBD Italy and it is numbered. Then I have this little Anna Hut, Anna Hute. I'm not sure how you say it. It's German crystal. It's 24% lead. It has kind of a gold tone at the top. I don't know if you can see that, but. Uh, but I paid a dollar for this and it's listed for 17 I also have these adorable little owl salt and pepper shakers. They're not vintage. They don't have their stoppers, but they were so cute. I couldn't leave them. I paid a dollar for these and they're listed on my website for $8. I also found this teeny little Japanese tea set. It's like a peach luster. And um, I paid $3 for this and it is listed for 10. <sighs> this little brown owl, I picked this up at the Goodwill and I shook it, it was heavy, I shook it. and. It, it was like I'm shaking a maraca. So I had to find out what was inside of it. So I did peel off the bottom and it was filled with about eight ounces of BBs. So I took those out. But the little brown owl I paid $3 for and it is listed for seven. Next, I have this cute little silver plated teddy bear bank. And it has this metal stopper and uh, he is silver plated. I can't remember if I just said that. I paid $2.99 for him and he's listed for $12. I also had a little vintage Glasgow measuring shot glass that I had picked up for 50 cents and it already sold for $10. Uh, let's see. Cameo ribbon vase. It's really pretty. And it is marked the Cameo ribbon vase. Royal Heritage Collection, Taiwan. This I paid $2 and it is listed for $12. Okay. I also got this hand-painted urn that is marked Portugal, made in Portugal, 9005 or 4005. Anyways, I paid $2 for this and it's listed for 12 I have this little Noritake sugar bowl that is has a luster to it also. Is marked Noritake. Even has its little spoon that came with it. There are no chips or cracks. I paid three dollars for that and it's listed for fifteen. I found this little guy. He is a folk art Santa Claus and he is made out of canvas. You can see it's like starched painted canvas. He has a really cute face, I think. I think he's pretty cute. I like him. I paid $2.50 for him. And he is listed for 35. All 
of the stuff that's up next is from our visit to the curio shop where I haven't been there in probably 20 years and this place is packed so full of stuff I will put a card up here to link that video for you so that you can go and check that out but um, we will be going back there but this stuff is from the curio shop I picked up this little pixie I think it's adorable I paid five dollars for him and he is listed for 15 next I have these little clown ornaments I like clowns I know a lot of people don't like them but I do I think they're cute they have little hearts on their hands and their shoes and they are movable they're pretty cute I paid five dollars for the two of them together and I'm selling them together for 20 next I have this mr. and mrs. Claus chalkware salt and pepper shakers aren't they cute they are salt and pepper shakers mr. or Santa has his stopper but Mrs. Claus does not and they also have these little coverings over another hole both of them do so anyways I paid three dollars for them and they are listed for 17 next I found this little West clocks pretty blue um, wind up alarm clock this is from the 40s it does work I paid seven dollars for it and I have not listed it because I don't know if I just want to keep it for myself or not so now what's next oh this little pretty cloisonne container isn't that beautiful it's black and white and it has like the brass cloisonne or copper I'm not sure if it's brass or copper the inside is blue enamel and um, there it is I knew there was a little spot where it was a little bit rough and the lid has a spot that's really rough on it too but I paid six dollars for that and it is listed for 20 I also got this little snowman blow mold it doesn't have a light in it right now but I did pick some of those up at Lowe's so it will have a light that goes with it and he is super cute he does have some sun fading on the hat he's got a little cardinal and Christmas tree and a little birdhouse there and he's not marked so I don't know who made him but I only paid a dollar for him and he is listed for 30 I also have this bowl that I'm not sure what this is it is like it's it's I'm not sure if it's even glass it's marked Napco on the bottom of it and it is more blue than black and then it has that white drip glaze and it has this metal band on the bottom that comes off it's kind of like the Hollywood Regency style there and then you can see where the band would go on there I'm not sure what this is what it's called but I paid $3.39 for it and I have it listed for um, 20 okay so Bailey's decided to join us we have these two figural brass candlestick holders they are from India they're pretty cool I thought that they were unique so I picked them up 
I paid two dollars for them and they are listed for 50. The next thing is this Stife Pewter Creamer. It has some red stuff down in there that I can't get out. I'm gonna try a little harder to get that out, but just so you know, it's in there. And it does say Stife. I paid $4.49 for that and it's listed for $19. have this little tin that is made in Holland. There are some scuffs on here on the lid a little bit on the corners and it looks a little tarnished around the edges but it's in pretty good shape other than that. I paid $3.39 for that and it's listed for $17. Now we have these silver plated candlestick holders. They are marked inside. It's not gonna pull that up, but it does say silver plate. And I paid $3.39 for them and they are listed for $15. We have a Santa doorbell that we found for $3.39. He is just adorable. And uh, for him to be adorable, you have to press really hard on his mouth. Go ahead and press it so they can see what he does. <laughs> his nose lights up too, if you can see that. I paid $3.39 for him and he's listed for $40. He'll turn off in a second. All right, and next we have the nesting Russia Russian Santa with ornaments inside. It has five ornaments inside there. He's like those Russian nesting dolls, but he's Santa and he's packed full of ornaments. I paid $2.29 for him and he is listed for $30. And that one's got a pretty painting on it. Yeah, I, um... <laughs> They're pretty cool. Next we have this alabaster jewelry box. It's made by Highmark in Italy. It is in really, really good condition. I paid $3.39 for this and it's listed for $20. Next we have this pretty wood dovetailed recipe box. You can see the dovetails on the corners there. It's got a hinged lid. It's in good shape. It has a little drop of white paint on the top of the lid. Um, I paid $2.29 for that and it's listed for $22. Next is a little oddity that I found. This is a dough rat. And it says grub os hamelum. Something on the order of that. I don't speak German, so I'm not sure. But this is from Germany. And I paid 99 cents for it and it is listed for 15. It is made out of dough. Okay, so next. Okay, and now this stuff is stuff that I picked up thrifting over the weekend. It's just kind of a mixture of things. And there are two things here that I've had that I don't think that I have shown you. Or if I did, it's been a long time. I have this hobbyist piece, this turkey dish. It's pretty cute. It is marked DH1980. He is listed in my shop too. I'm not sure what I put on him. I can find out real quick. 
I think I paid a dollar for him. And he is listed for 15. And then we have these little hobbyist ghosts that are so cute. I think I may have paid a dollar or two dollars for them. And they're listed for 15. So next we're gonna go into the stuff that I got this weekend. And one thing that's pretty cool, I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. These are really super cool. I have not done comps on any of this stuff yet, so I can't give you an estimate or tell you what it will be listed for even. Bailey's holding a glass spray bottle. It is missing its little handle for you to hold on to while you're pumping. So there's that. I have this pretty little Fenton bowl compote dessert dish. I'm not sure what you call it. I paid $5 for this. It is marked Fenton. You forgot to do this. Oh, is it marked? It says made in Taiwan. Okay. So, and I also found this pretty wood plate that's hand painted and also burnt around the edges. And I paid 39 cents for that. I found this pretty amberina, I think, glass. I'm not sure who made this. It could be Ellie Smith. What did I pay for that? Three dollars. This was at our local hospice store. I also got these at the hospice store and they were 39 cents a piece. They are hand painted by the same artist with initials SJS. I thought they were cute this one more than this one. I like the green one a lot. And they are backed with paper, so um, I think they were pretty important to somebody else. Go ahead and show my cute little book. Santa's Toy Shop. Santa's Toy Shop. This is a little golden book and it is from, I think, 1952. I I think when I opened it and checked it out, that's what it was. 1950. And I paid $2 for that, and it is in great shape. Really good shape. And Bailey loves Christmas books, so I might let her keep it she, if she promises to take very good care of it because it's really, really old. <laughs> okay, and now Bailey's got a glass hen on a nest. It's kind of a satin glass, and it does have the red um, on its head. Yeah. Comb and waddle, I think. I don't know who made this, and I kind of got this in a bundle deal for 20 bucks. <coughs> also along with this cute little oil lamp oh yes I got this at hospice also for two dollars did you want to show it it has a pretty little scene on it there it says chromium plate non tarnishable on the bottom wood and the inside has three little compartments. I've never seen one of these. I thought it was pretty neat. <coughs> so that's that. This I'm keeping for myself. I thought it was cool. It's like a little stained glass light bulb. Um, what else do we have? We have a, another little teeny lamp. 
don't think it's marked. No, it's not marked. Oh, we've got some more Home Co. butterflies because these things sell so fast. Everybody likes the Home Co. butterflies. Oh, it's candle wax. It's okay. We have a piece of pottery. It was 39 cents and it's marked E-A-Y Dinch, I think. I think we did look this up, but I can't remember what it was. Oh. I also found, yes, these are vintage Christmas ornaments. I paid a dollar for this whole bag. They are the foil pom-poms. And I'm thinking when I looked these up, they were like $35 for this amount. So they're really cute. There's different ones in here. There's a silver one, I think. And this one. Really cool. I was surprised to find this. So that's a, that's a pretty good buy there for a dollar. And I think that's everything. Did we get everything, baby? Hmm. Did you do the alien? Yes, I did the alien. All right. So I think. That is everything. We hope that is everything. We didn't do that seashell owl. Do you want to show that? Go grab it. <laughs> we have one more thing. I paid a quarter for this at a garage sale. Bailey might keep it. She's not sure yet. It is an owl made out of seashells. I don't know where I put it. That's the thing. It's pretty cool. Ow! It's pokey. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed our haul, and I hope this video wasn't too long for you. We tried to rush through it as much as we could, but mm. sometimes we get a little windy with our explanations. But okay. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye.